Hello, my Sag friends. It's Helene from Heart House Astrology with your December forecast. Well, Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising, we're starting off the month on the first with Mercury coming into your sign in your first house. So you may have been a little quiet last month and now you're you're ready to socialize again. Um, you're chatty, you know, you're you're out and about and socializing. And so, you know, though you do have to be careful, Sag, because you can have a reputation for this of being a little too blunt, um, saying things that you should, probably shouldn't have said, not that you're trying to offend anyone is always innocent with Sag, but, um, you know, you're just going to be quick spitting out truth this month. So just, just to let you know, but it'll be much more fun energy. Now we have Venus on the fifth, making a beautiful trine. And this is between your 12th house and your fourth house. So still finishing up there in that 12th house, Venus, in the beginning of the month. Um, you know, I think you're going to want to have probably like a lazy day at home and just like enjoy it, soak it up. Even though you're ready to socialize a little bit, you're you're probably just going to feel like, you know, a great time for like spiritual practices or something creative if you if you paint or do music or something like that. That's a great time, a use of that creative energy. Now on the 13th, Mercury um, is squaring Neptune. So that's the first and the fourth house. So you want to be careful when talking with your family members or your loved ones um, because Things could just get a little wonky and a little miscommunication. Um, so you might be misinterpreted or they might misinterpret you. So you just want to be mindful, you know, give it a day or two before. Then on the 14th, we have a total solar eclipse at 23 degrees Sagittarius, your sign, and it's with K2. So this is affecting all Sagittarius. It's it's about you. It's new beginnings for you. This is, you know, the next six months, there's big changes on how you show up in the world. Um, if your sun sign is, you know, between 15 and 28 um, Sagittarius, or maybe even a little closer than that, like 16, 27, but give or take, um, you know, you're going to, you could feel this around your career. So there could be, if it's your sun sign, new beginnings, um, around your career as well. Now, you know, you, there might be something that you need to let go of that no longer resonates with you on how you present yourself in the world, but you're, you're turning over a new leaf. <laughs> you know, you're you're coming into your own authentic uh, expression of yourself and speaking your you know speaking your truth, owning your truth and your sovereignty. Uh, it's a big change when there's an eclipse in your first house, so or on your sun. So big changes this year, Sag. Um, on December fifteenth, Venus is going to cross your ascendant. So this is a great time for buying uh, beauty products, uh, makeup, skincare, getting your hair done, buying new clothes. If you have to take photographs for your website, a very good time. You have the Venusian glow. I love this time when it crosses your ascendant. Uh, you just feel those beauty vibes um, throughout the rest of the month. So a great time to while you're out doing your shopping, getting yourself a few treats um, would be a good use of the energy as well. And enjoy that. Then on the 17th, we have Saturn moving into Aquarius. On the 19th, Jupiter joins Aquarius. And then on the 21st, they have their great conjunction in Aquarius. And for you, this is your third house. So this is bringing in a fresh new energy in your third house. So, um, you know, you might be changing the way that you um, communicate, you write, speak, um, you know, the work that you do. A lot of us have mercurial jobs. So there could bring new changes 
um, in that area of your life where you're doing work a little differently due to communication and uh, you know this is ultimately good it could bring in a lot of work for you you know bring making you very busy um, yes and also also this rules your local travel so many of you if you didn't get to be on a vacation um, in 2020 many of us haven't due to the pandemic you might be doing a lot more trips local trips in 2021 which is fun we all need to get out right it's sad i know you like to travel i'm sure you're dying to get on a plane but if you can't get on a plane you're gonna find a way you're gonna find a way to travel whether you get in your car and you get to you know a two three hour drive here and there uh you know you need that your soul needs that so do it do it up <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it'll start manifesting again for in 2021. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like a personal reading, you can contact me at hearthouseastrology.com. I would love to read for you. Um, it'll be such a huge changing month. I'm excited for you. Till next month. Bye, my friends.